Hedera HBAR was a project that everybody was talking about at the start of this year. However, after a fairly disappointing recent run, HBAR has fallen behind many other altcoins that have been performing much better. That means it's been pushed aside and no one's really even looking at it right now. However, this latest piece of news, as well as other metrics I'm seeing within the retail investment game with regards to HBAR, could tell us that we are about to have a very exciting end of year for Hedera HBAR. In this video, I'm going to talk about what that news exactly is, what it means for this project, as well as the other statistics using a very cool tool, which I'll show you in this video, that have me feeling more positive than ever for HBAR. Hit that like button and let's get into it, guys. Now, as we look at the last week or the last month or so of crypto bubbles, you'll see there's lots of projects that people are talking about, but no side of Hedera HBAR. And that's fairly obvious. It's not really been doing anything exciting. And we as creatures of habit like to go and look for the shiny object of which HBAR hasn't been particularly shiny recently. However, there's something very interesting that HBAR is working towards right now. And that is his progression towards the RWA sector or the real world asset sector. Now, in the past, I've talked about Chainlink and how important it is to be able to link in with real world assets. And that's where we've seen Chainlink doing really well recently. We've also seen Solana having big partnerships with Amazon Web Services, other ones with Shopify and Visa, etc. Now we're seeing something very big happening with Hedera HBAR, which could start to bring people's attention back to it. And it's already happening. And I'll show you that later on. Hold on a minute. What's this website? Are we not supposed to be looking at HBAR? Well, guys, Interestingly, this is Airbnb and Hedera HBAR is now just about to partner up with Airbnb. Is that a crane for £4,785 a night? I tell you what, guys, have a look at Airbnb. There's some pretty crazy places here. Now, guys, Hedera to support the tokenization of Airbnb's money market fund. HBAR sees a strong surge, but low retail participation. Hedera's latest announcement revealed yet another major development. The network reportedly collaborated with a platform called Archax to tokenize Airbnb's money market fund. The latter is worth billions, hence this represents one of the biggest opportunities for the Hedera blockchain. Now, think about the problem that Airbnb has. It's a global company accepting payments from people all around the globe and then has to process those payments and then pay back to the people who have those different homes, etc. in maybe a different currency. It's a complete nightmare from the point of view of the user who then has to end up paying crazy fees and all that good stuff and Airbnb themselves who then have to pay extra fees and all this other stuff as well. So wouldn't it be much easier if this was all done through tokenization, through instant finality and all that good stuff. Now, this is obviously where Airbnb has started to look for a way to go on chain and they've selected Hedera HBAR. That's very exciting, particularly as HBAR's problem more recently has been to fail to attract the interest of the retail investor. Now, what's significant about this? The retail investor, like you and me, understands what Airbnb is. We can really easily associate what Airbnb is and we all know the name with HBAR. And these big names that are like names that the retailers have heard of actually help drive that kind of interest. Because actually, if you talk about other companies that are far bigger than Airbnb, most of the world doesn't know what they are. And actually, in this stage of the market, you may have realized it's more about capturing people's attention than really basically being able to produce something amazing and exciting. But the tech behind HBAR, the partnerships and all that stuff are truly pretty impressive. And that's definitely enough to capture the attention of the people. So have they been capturing the attention of the people? Well, let's have a look. If we look into the price chart, well, HBAR is up around 5% today. Not bad, considering the rest of the market is sat fairly sort of static with most coins kind of in the red in fact today despite bitcoin actually having a little bit of a push interesting that so it seems that bitcoin dominance on the move again uh that's very interesting maybe money start to flow back out of the old coins into bitcoin maybe something we should be paying attention to but as we look at hbar which has been closely tied in terms of behavior to how bitcoin has performed throughout the year although not really performing so strongly more recently after that very early exciting push at the start of the year also just while we're on the subject this at the start of the year was hbar rallying uh pretty much 150 percent and in that period of time not many other coins did much so why was everyone talking about hbar at that time because it was rallying do you see the pattern Everything that people are talking about all the time right now, guys, is rallying. Okay, it means it's already rallied. 
then everyone starts to not think about HBAR anymore. Then HBAR does this and now no one wants to talk about it because everything else is doing this. So that's unfortunately the way that a lot of YouTube works, okay? It tells you something that you already know when it's already happened. It's like, oh, I'm making a video telling you HBAR's gone up when it's already gone up. But luckily, because you're joining me in the house of crypto, we are ahead of the game. So HBAR is yet to get moving particularly significantly uh, from this recent dip. Yeah, it's up around 46%. But compare that with the likes of INJ, that's up like 1400% or chain link that's you know up 225%. So what have we got with HBAR? Well, as we look into the charts, you'll see that we are running in and creating a very interesting chart pattern. Now, even if you are not able to read charts, you may have heard of a double bottom or a W pattern, like the letter W you can see here. And what happens is basically if it runs into this zone up here and is able to break beyond, maybe retest and do something like this, then the technical target for this will be the height of our W from a breakout position, which would be effectively around here. And then you can see in the shorter term, H bar has the opportunity to pump something like 121%, which is not really that bad considering lots of other coins have been on the move for a while. H bar hasn't really been doing a huge amount. And to be honest, beyond that, the next kind of significant resistance for HBAR actually sat uh, around this level here. So maybe, you know, if Bitcoin has another run and continues up towards 40%, etc., then HBAR could have a really big sharp. That's over a 4x uh, that we could see maybe in the shorter space of time. Obviously not guaranteed. Do your own research. Don't invest money you can't afford to lose. Don't invest money if you can't prepare with being down in the markets. If you're investing in the markets going up, it doesn't mean it's going to keep going up forever, okay? Hopefully that's enough disclaimers for you today. Now, if you subscribe to my channel, then you will have seen this before, but it's important. This is a lunacrush.com. Now, I told you in a previous video that a lot of the stuff that's being kind of circulating on Twitter. Now, Twitter is probably the more advanced kind of crypto content kind of stuff. There's a lot of in-depth and really more complex content being produced on Twitter than there is on YouTube. And really, if you are trying to learn more about crypto, then you need to be over on Twitter and go through the link down below in the description for my Twitter profile, where you can see every day we're doing various different threads. Here's one on ICP, did another recent thread on Casper, one on Polygon. And if you haven't got much money, then make sure you go and follow this step-by-step -step guide to participate in the StarkNet airdrop, where you could potentially make thousands of dollars for like a $2.50 entry bit of a no-brainer, okay? So give me a follow over on Twitter. And because of all this, we'll likely identify then the moves coming before you start to see it being posted everywhere across YouTube. This could be the first signal, okay? This video going up about HBAR. Now, what we could do is see, copy this tagline here. And as we come across a look at Twitter score, you'll see that we are starting to get more followers coming through. You see this blue line, continuous following going up steady growth while the price hasn't been doing a huge amount. That's really important to see. We're getting more and more retailers kind of entering into the space. We've got the kind of news and fundamental stuff behind it now. You add those retailers into the mix, then we have a nice little recipe for a potential bit of growth. Now then, come across to Luna Crush, which currently is free. I think they're going to be making it a paid version soon. So be quick, all right? Go on categories, which is top categories. You can see cryptocurrencies. Click on that. And then we can come down through and you can see which coins are kind of pumping and trending right now. Notably, the ones at the top have been moving quite aggressively recently. You've got Solana, Casper, uh, Chainlink, uh, Avalanche has been having a good run. Cardano is surprisingly high. Fetch AI, uh, obviously doing well. What this is doing is ranking coins in terms of kind of how much hype and attention they're getting across like Twitter and YouTube. Uh, but what we're looking for is this. Come to HBAR, it's like 21st, just underneath Bitcoin. I'm coming across where it says alt rank, you'll see it's up 537. So number of these have been performing recently uh, and are kind of maybe starting to kind of ease off and decline. Like Avalanche, you can see starting to slowly drop down a bit. It's been up 23% in the last week or so in price. Then it starts to get steadier and then the interest will start to drop. And you can see some of these other old coins that have been booming recently, the interest starts to drop. And that's where people will take profits and start to look into other things. However, we've got now HBAR, Lots of people jumping back into this. So if we take the current situation with regards to the price and the fact that we've now got some good, more interesting information coming out about HBAR, it's going to spike more interest. We're going to have more YouTubers and stuff talking about it as the price starts to increase again. Then you have all the catalysts for some good growth again. 
Now, longer term, where does H bar go? Well, guys, it's anyone's guess, okay? But what we can see is it's broken out of this trend already. It's come back, it's retested, and now it's pushing higher. It wouldn't surprise me to have a bit of growth coming through in the coming kind of months and so on. Down into the future, 15x, maybe a 20x if things go really well. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and tell you you're going to be millionaires. But as you can see, if Bitcoin has another good shove, I think we can anticipate a very serious move as well coming from H bar. Uh, especially as I think attention is going to flow back in. Now, something else that happens around this time once we get a big flood of money coming into the crypto markets is IDOs and ICOs start to pick up. So which IDOs and ICOs do we want to be looking at? Well, if we come to crypto fundraising, you will see that in the seed rounds for a lot of these projects, the main focus is in a few key areas. Most notably, there's a lot of stuff to do with ZK Sync, DeFi and GameFi. Now, coming across to crypto rank, you'll see that there's a lot of projects that are going to get launched very, very soon. You can see the upcoming dates for a number of these. And what we want to look for is some projects within those kind of GameFi, DeFi type niches that have got good raises going on. Here, Blast Royale at $7 million and a few others. At the very top of the list, you've got D.Fi with $9.4 million raised. So let's check it out. Well, D.Fi currently has over 3 million users and it's anticipating to have nearly 10 million during the next bull market. They've got a highly experienced team and it's very transparent. You can go and find out information on all of these. That's a big tick for me. I'm really excited to see their project being shared by CZ of Binance, Andrew Kang, Cointelegraph, ZK Sync, and a number of other massive names across crypto. They're funded by the same company that was behind the funding for SpaceX and Tesla. Pretty interesting, right? And they've already partnered up with every major exchange going. So this has all the recipes for a very exciting project, potentially in the new year. Before we find out how we can go and involve ourselves in the pre-sale, what is it? Well, basically guys, it's a super app. It's gonna enable onboarding a massive number of people into Web3, helping them with all sorts of things. All these different cool tools that I talk about on a daily basis are all gonna be shared on a platform like this. You can scan contracts to see whether they're scams or not. You can explore yield farming in a safe environment where you can maximize opportunities there. You can have your own dashboard where you can store your own portfolio. You can spy on other wallets and see what else is going on as well. All very, very cool. There's also social fire and other bits and pieces. And the token itself will be behind the utility driving this project forward. Now, as I mentioned, they are in a pre-sale and I think it's about to finish in the next kind of five to 10 days. So do not miss out on this opportunity. If you want to find out more, link down below in the description. And if you use that link down below, you'll be able to secure the price of 34 cents. Now this is increasing every few days and the price will increase once they hit this kind of $6 million level. And therefore, if you want to go and get involved and find out more, then the time is probably now. Now, once you've done your research and decided that this is an interesting project, you will just have to click on connect your wallet. You could then go and select MetaMask or whatever it is, choose the coin, whatever you want to purchase with, Ethereum, BNB, uh, USDT, USDC, on any of these different chains, you've got AVAX, Arbitrum, etc. Uh, and then you can just run through the process. You can select how much you want to buy, uh, and then they will reward you with the tokens. You can see 34 cents is basically the price right now, but that won't last forever, and it probably will continue going up every single day until the coin is actually ultimately launched. Anyway, enough about that. Hope to keep you updated on what's going on with HBAR. If you want to learn more, get into the free Telegram link down below in the description. Hit the like button, subscribe. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.